the audience can expect a very human, behind-the-scenes story of a Middle East peace accord between the PLO and the Israeli government in 1993, which was historic. It's a historical comedy drama that plays and feels like a thriller. Hysterical historical. Hysterical historical. <laughs> Oslo was always meant to be experienced as a political thriller. Intellectual, political, really funny thriller. It's kind of a negotiation thriller with a lot of laughs. <laughs> it's a very scintillating evening. It's a very challenging evening. You don't need to come in knowing much about what happened in 1993 in Oslo. I think we kind of lay it all out for you. Every night is this sort of one-off uh, event in which everyone is participating in the peace process. They leave, as we do, exhilarated because of the humor and the humanity in the play. In this day and age, when, when it seems so difficult to get people with opposing views uh, to speak to each other under any circumstances, that they, they did it. It's such a useful reminder, I think, to us all. Here's a play that says, we're not alienated from each other, we're yeah. bound to each other. And I think that the time is right for that. When you find love for somebody, whether they're Jewish, Muslim, Christian, doesn't matter, that humanity between the two people stays even if the outside world falls apart. They get to engage in the complexity of a conversation about world affairs and about human beings and feel like there's actual hope. Because at the end of the day, it is about kind of a hope for a love and a peace. You know, it sounds a little saccharine and cheesy, but that is the deal. I mean, I think that's what we want in this world and that's what this play is saying. There was hope then, there could be hope now. Let's keep shooting for it. I know that we're in incredibly good hands and I cannot wait to see what happens when we get to Broadway. Mm -hmm.